Catalytic converter thefts have been a big problem for the past few years. It's been costing people thousands of dollars, and now senators are working to slow down those thieves. Channel 8's Macy Meyer has more on a bill new at 10 tonight. Macy? Well, to give you an idea, right here in Lincoln, we've gone from a few converters being stolen every year to now close to a thousand. It's a big reason LB 994 was introduced, but some say we could still do more. The question is, how do we regulate to stop the thefts? Senator Lathrop is just one of many who has seen a major problem happening across Nebraska, catalytic converter thefts. In Lincoln alone, there were 274 thefts just in 2020. In 2021, 631 within the first nine months. Catalytic converters have basically taken the place of the theft of copper electric wiring and copper <coughs> pipes that was prevalent in the late 90s and early 2000s. The city passed an ordinance requiring a permit and more identification for the sale of converters, but LB 994 would require something a little different. When trying to sell the converters, you would need to show a VIN number, the make and model of the car, and payment must be by check sent in the mail. For scrap metal recycling places, they aren't sure that will be enough to stop the thieves. I suggest webcam in every shop with a fingerprint pad. I guarantee the thefts will slow down at least, if not stop altogether. Benezra says their Lincoln business stopped buying catalytic converters altogether just to make sure they weren't buying stolen ones, ultimately costing them thousands of dollars every month. Well, we used to buy catalytic converters every day. Since January 1st, we haven't bought one. We haven't purchased one, so there's no profit to be made on the catalytic converter return anymore. He says things like the city's ordinance and this potential bill are steps in the right direction, but ultimately could make it harder for businesses to do their job and not do much to stop the thieves. Senator Lathrop said in the hearing today, it's clear to him, even those who oppose the bill still agree this is a problem that needs to be solved as people are losing thousands, if not millions of dollars from these thefts. Macy Meyer, thank you very much for that report tonight.